Hey there, true believers. Rank is Ragi with more. Let's play Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. This time, Chapter 5, the, Emper the Empire's Reach. Almost said Emperor's Reach. Potentially quite a long way, since he has the powers of the Force. We can show you from across the room. Anyway, uh, nothing changed between... Nothing changed uh, between... In the army between... Let me start again. Nothing changed in the army between between videos, um, since I can't do anything different. Uh, this is our army, by the way. <clears throat> it's fairly big. We're getting be quite sizable. We're all kind of level level, level like 2 to 4 though, which is kind of crap, but yeah, we'll deal. Oh good, there's the undead everywhere now. Yes, there's the undead everywhere. force is strong in this one. Okay, we've been we've we've been at their border for the last 5 missions. Can we just get in the country already? God damn it. Well, not anymore. Now it's only a death place. Really, imagine their border town during during you know an invasion of, every, of of apparently every other nation. Their border town's gonna have soldiers in it. Who would have imagined? Anyway, chapter five: The Empire's Reach. Yes. If memory serves, this mission is the one that gives a lot. Of, yep, this it's this one. People have problems with this mission. Well, in my little circle of friends, people have problems with this. So I'm going to show you how to do it, how to do it correctly and easily. Hmm. He's gonna go to the arena. Apparently, whoever the hell this man is. Ah. She's moving at mock speed. Oh my god. Yes, there's a creepy man with red hair hitting on me. Oh, he's such a gentleman. He's not. He's just he's just hitting on her. I'm not so sure. Your officers may have may have words. Or not. Apparently not. Oh, it's amazing how well they've planned this, and they've planned my route. It's almost like we have a spy in our midst. It's probably Seth. No, it's not. Yep. Sorry, clicked that a little quickly. My bad. Bring her into custody uh, immediately. Was his was his statement. One more thing. <clears throat> huh. Wonder who that is. Ah, so it's a she then. Maybe it's that cleric. <laughs> Can I kill her? Oh, good. 
We're just fueling, fueling all kinds of death and destruction, aren't we? I'm happy I get to kill a defenseless woman! Cause I'm a man's man. Oh, they look, they look, they look related. Oh, well, they are then. Well, there we go. Never mind. Cormag and Glen. Hmm. Wonder why I didn't see Cormag anywhere. Hmm. And here we are, right here at Seraphu. There we go. It's almost like they know where we're going or something. Well, not anymore, Erica. Not anymore. <laughs> and it has soldiers everywhere. Look, look, look at them all. Well, it's only lost for now. There's plenty of time to change things, Erica. The game is only beginning. Must not draw attention, so we shouldn't run through here in a big army. Alright. We're gonna run through in a big army. <laughs> oh, hello. Who are you? No. We have pink hair, and like, sky blue like hair, but we don't have we don't have indigo. <clears throat> oh, it's cool whoever the hell you are. Well, that was a thing. His hair was indigo. Was he looking for himself? How deep? He probably was. Oh, good. Let's go, let's go draw attention to ourselves. Oh, her name's, her name's Natasha, so she's Russian. We may just kill you anyway, though.
I don't think they do. Oh, good. Ah! It's a whole crap ton of soldiers that just showed up. Well, you don't have indigo hair, so we're not looking for you. I know who you are, you're not hiding yourself at all. Alright, <clears throat> now, for this mission, we... Uh, who aren't we going to use? Well, we don't need to use Mulder anymore, because <clears throat> we have Natasha. We don't need Mulder. She's superior to him in every, in every way. He has higher magic than her, but she's just better, I find. So, we're going to bring Calm with us. We're not going to bring Vanessa, because she's not super useful. But we are going to bring Seth, and there's a very particular reason for that. But we're also going to... Uh, have Seth give all of his weapons to supply. There's a reason for that, too, I promise. <clears throat> um, we don't need to bring Gilliam, either, because he's, he's too slow to really... Oh, then again... Yeah, let's, let's, let's take Gilliam with us. Okay. Now, the plan for this, one of the things we're gonna, we're, we're definitely going to have to do is to liberate all of these towns. <clears throat> these little towns. Um, they will be under attack by other units <clears throat> in really no time, so we want to make sure to capture that. We also need to hold up this position here, yeah, this position here, rather than not in the wall, here. We're going to send someone up this way to get to this town, and we're going to send someone around this side to get to the, go up to this town. Uh, this one will take when, when it's clear, and this one will be taken probably first turn. So that's the plan there. Also, that guy who went to the arena is going to come out and stand right there. He's very important, and I'll explain why he's very important when he comes out and stands there. Otherwise, these are our enemies. They're all four, they're pretty shit, so I'm not that concerned. I don't think anyone has anything that we want. Uh, no. No one has anything that we want. There are some some ranged attackers in the way. There's these archers for one. I think there's a couple j a couple javelins about, but nothing nothing we can't nothing we can't handle. Now, we need someone who can move very far, so we're going to send Franz up on this side. That's where Franz is going to go. We can also send uh, Ross up this section here. Now, the main force we're going to have defending here is going to be uh, probably Erica and Calm. So we want to move Calm up to the, up there so that he can get to the action quickly. Um, Arthur, uh, Arthur rather, because there's no H in his name, he's Arthur. Um, he might accompany Franz this way because we're not we're not going to need so much mag so much uh, magic support over here, as because we'll because we'll have uh, uh, we'll have Neme uh, doing range support. Now why we're why we're taking Seth and why he's important will be made clear in time, I promise. But we're going to go ahead and fight. And here he comes. Hey, look at that. Just like I said, he'd pop out and stand right there. Well, that's very unfortunate. Well, he's in trouble.
that's actually pretty good advice. Uh, the arena is good for grinding if you don't, uh, if you don't have anything else, to, if you don't have any, uh, any other way to grind. There are ways to grind in this game aside from that, so. Good. Good job, Joshua. Oh, I spoiled his name. Sorry, his name is Joshua. an arena here. Thank you, game. Arenas play host to one-on-one -on -one combat matches. They do. If you win a match, you'll earn twice the amount of entry fee, which is good. If you lose, however, that unit will not be able to fight in any future battles, because they will die. It's an arena fight to the death. If your HP drops near zero in a fight, press the B button quickly to concede. You'll lose your entry fee, but you'll save your unit to fight again. And you shall, Natasha, you shall. I'm sure that one of them will, and I know exactly which one. Sometimes, you can talk to an enemy and convince him to join you. For example, right now, Joshua might be inclined to talk with Natasha. Yes, this is the challenging part of this map. You need to have your, cl your, your cleric talk to the enemy slayer of men. I'll explain why Joshua's a slayer of men when we have the option to go check him out. However, Joshua is a red unit. Unlike green units you've seen before, he will attack until he's spoken to. He's still an enemy, after all. Moreover, Joshua is a Myrmidon, who specializes in critical hits. Myrmidon are absolutely terrifying, and they're my favorite unit in all of Fire Emblem, because they are so good. If you are struck by a critical hit, you will suffer three times the normal damage. It's a good idea to check crit on the combat information window. Yes, it is. Okay. And this is where we'll be if I fail this mission and have to do it again. Let's have Seth visit this house. That's Seth's first plan. Oh, hello. Possibly. I don't know who you are. Well, too bad. Eh, yeah, must have been a good dance then. <laughs> That's a pretty good point. Random dancer woman. Oh, I'm sure we will. As a, matter, as a matter of fact, I know that we will. Good, a dragon shield. What a dragon shield does is it raises the defense of a unit by, by two permanently. That's very good. We're not going to use that for a good long while, though. So we need to move him to here. That'll negate... He might get attacked by him, but I think he doesn't have that thing equipped. Good. So we're going to exploit this little glitch. Oh no, he has the hatchet equipped. He has the hatchet. Never mind. Um, anyway, the glitch the glitch goes, you can move up and you can trade with someone. As soon as you trade, they will change their weapons around. So Franz, for example, if he were to attack this man with a spear, but then an axe person was like right here, ready to, ready to strike on him next turn, I could have somebody else trade so that he has his sword equipped in the first slot. 
as, as opposed to wherever it is, and then he would have a, a, his sword for the combat. It's quite cheaty, it's very helpful. Let's move him right here, because we're going to set up our set up our divisions of units right now. Gilliam, go ahead and come over here. Erica, you're moving over here, because you are one of the main people we're going to want to work with. Now, the strategy to get to be able to talk to Joshua... Oh, that's something else I, I should talk about. Uh, he has a Killing Edge. A Killing Edge is a fantastic weapon. You see he has a 36% chance of critical. Oh dear god, he will destroy anyone who he hits if he hits a critical hit. Except Seth. Now you see why I brought Seth here. Seth, you are glorified bait in this chapter. You'll enjoy, you'll enjoy your fate, I certainly hope. Anyway, the plan we have to get Joshua out is to first lure these guys out, because we don't need them around. Today, Joshua's attack range goes up to right here, so as long as, we, as long as we stay out of Joshua's attack range, we can totally just kind of pull his friends away, so that they are the ones who charge out. Oh, I forgot to change his weapon. After all this talk about changing weapons, I didn't have Franz's weapon changed. Good job. But Franz still killed this man without, without breaking a sweat, so that's probably a good thing for Franz. Franz, you'll be a good cavalier yet. With stat upgrades like that. Go ahead, fight Ross. See how well this works out for you. Lost half your health. Good job. And this is why I had the... Oh, well, there you go, then. <laughs> well, bye. That's why I had the hatchet equipped. Because I knew that that would happen. Oh, and he just got strength. That's actually a fine level up for Ross. It's not great, but that's fine. There's an armory and shop in this city. Yes, there are. They're right there. And right there. Haha. -ha. Armories sell iron swords, steel lances, and other weapons. Or iron lances and steel swords. Whatever. It doesn't actually matter. Shops carry spells, vulneraries, and a myriad of other items, such as torches, and probably that's it. If you're running short on anything, make sure you stock up here. It's a good idea to do that. Oh, and there's bandits as well. Look at this. It's their chance, apparently. Come on, lads! Going down to the pub, eh? I'm sorry in advance for my... Actually, not in advance, since it already happened. I'm sorry in post for my terrible accent. And this is why I wanted to get these towns as soon as possible, because these guys, these douches show up and begin to wreck up the place, because they're assholes. Um, yeah, Erica can kill this man with fair, minimal resistance. Now let's see, we need to block off that path, so Calm, go ahead and block off this path. Neme, you can move right there. Natasha, right there is fine for now. And now we need to start moving up. If I can do this correctly, we can move Art. We can move Archer right there to draw the Archer out. We can move at Franz up one, and he can heal because it's a little bit of HP. But you never know. He's going to be alone for most of this map. So honestly, I'd really rather have him not be weak. And Ross will just destroy this man's existence, as Ross does. See, and that's also why we why we why we got that first that first um, town first. Because uh, yes, that one is the one that the one that those two will go for, and it's very easy for them to get to it. That's fine. That's a fine level. It's not great, but it's fine. We'll establish our our line our lines of defense uh, shortly. Good job, Colm. Stab him with a dagger. That's fine. Good. Good. That's actually what I wanted to have happen. Because now Archer is going to is going to destroy his is going to destroy his shit with the with the power of God, as what oft happens. Okay, Archer, that's really all I needed you over there for. Come on back. Back to the rest of the group, good sir. You did your job well. Now, 
Franz is going to continue his charge up here, because we need to save that town. Because that's another one that the, that the bandits will very easily get to when more of them spawn right here. Yes, um, all the towns are in danger here. It's not just the ones down here, it's all of them. Let's see if we can ping him for a good chunk of HP, that would be cool. Then... Uh, you can just move here to hang out. And... I um, actually would prefer a different strategy here. Um, well, shit. Alright, um, you... If I move him there, who will I pull? I'll pull him and him. That's acceptable, actually. Because I can move her down here to actually dispatch these guys, as opposed just to sort of bothering them like Colm will be doing. 